my name's Sheba, and I am going to teach you a little bit about Second Life. Um, in this tutorial, I am going to try my best to teach you how to navigate Second Life um, in a rather basic sense. To be fully up to date with this tutorial, you're going to have to be, run be running Firestorm, uh, the 64-bit version of the beta. It is 4.7.1.45325. Uh, That's the version that I'm running. This will probably still be a viable tutorial in the future for a while until some really major upgrades happen. I am first going to teach you how exactly to uh, walk around in Second Life, and that's basically just you make sure that you're clicked within your screen and um, use the arrow keys to navigate. Now, what you may notice here is that when I'm walking forward, I'm walking toward the screen. Well, that's because I have a secondary, or I have a different view clicked than what people usually have, and it's just because I wanted to be staring at the screen whenever I started recording. Um, there are three different views here in this box. To get to this, you need to go to the I that is on the bottom of the screen. It's an I button, and it'll bring up these arrow keys and the different views. The first view is forward facing where you are always going to be walking toward the camera. The second view is a little different, sort of off to the side, but it's not quite fully behind you, not quite in front of you. I forgot what it's completely called, I'm sorry. The third view is the one that's most commonly used. It's completely behind you, um, or your camera is completely behind you. And you will see yourself in this way. Uh, well, if you're wearing, it depends on the avatar that you have as to how exactly the camera is going to look. But for this experiment, I wanted to use one of my less complicated avatars, I guess, that has like the fewest HUDs on the screen. It only has this HUD on the screen, and I can move this out the way to make things a bit less confusing. Um, this is the build box. I'm not going to cover it right now. Um, but yeah. Okay, biggest thing here that I want to cover, especially for um, my mom who is wanting to know more things about Second Life, is that the little I button and you have these. This first set of wheels controls where your camera looks, or where your camera is, rather. Um, I think that's her blooping me now. But as you can see, controls where you're looking. And this one, instead of controlling the angle, controls a different axis. But that is how you go and look at things in Second Life without moving your avatar all over the place. As you can see, my avatar is completely still, but I'm camming around. And I have friends saying hi and hug and things. Sorry, I'll respond to them in a bit. But anyway, hopefully this tutorial will make things a little bit easier, a little bit less confusing, and it's definitely something that I wanted to show Mum especially because she needed to know how to do it, because she's always wanting to know how to look around. Okay, the next thing that I wanted to show how to do exactly is how to teleport somewhere. For easy convenience, I have my favorites listed up here. And if you save things to your favorites bar, it'll have this bar up here. And it has all of the different little things that you can teleport to. However, another thing you can do is if you know the place that you have, you can also have um, landmarks. This is your inventory. You can go down and sort by landmark. And it'll give you landmarks. These are landmarks. That's what the landmark icon looks like. Um, but I'm going to be teleporting to my home. To teleport to your home location, you click this little home button that's right here. You click this. And it will teleport me. <laughs> 
I need to reset my home location as it likes to sit me behind my house, but sort of the basics, so just how how to teleport. The other thing that I need to show is this is to open nearby chat, you open nearby chat with this button down here in the corner. Then you go to like say you want to talk to someone, go to contacts, click your group contacts, or you can click friends, groups, contact sets. I've never used the contact sets, it's a newer feature. Um, but if like I wanted to contact someone, I would just click on one of their names and then click either I am profile, teleport, map, pay, remove, which I don't really want to remove anyone, add, whatever. Um, usually you would just click I am and call to talk to someone. But we need a guinea pig. I could get Hey hubby, will you get on second line for a second? I need a guinea pig to teleport me. So I can show how teleports work. This is just me showing mom how to do stuff, but I was gonna upload it so she could look at it later. Um, what else to cover while he's doing that and getting on? I'm gonna teleport to the place I was at a second ago, and to do that, I have it organized by landmark. I just type in hack index. Click on hack index. Takes me straight to hack index. What's wrong? Remember the program name? A firestorm? <laughs> Sorry. Doing so much stuff so fast. I'm gonna confuse the crap out of everyone. Whee! Okay. I'm back in a sandbox. Coming around, being boring. Um, but to like to teleport to Hackindex, that's how you. That's how I get to Hackindex. You have to save it as a landmark, and to create a landmark, you go to World. I think World. Is it world. Yeah. World. Then you go down here and go to Landmark This Place. Click Landmark This Place. And then you give it a second, and it pops up with create landmark and to create the landmark you would just it, it's done it for you and you hit close or you can take it and you can do the pull down menu and add it to your favorites bar which will add it up here that's how you put things in your favorites bar you either do the favorites like that I have a weird mouse that likes to double click which is why it's giving me problems um, but you either do that I'm going to do cancel since I have all of these, but if I go in here and I have like these, any of these landmarks, like if I wanted to do this and add it to my favorites, I would, let's see what would I do, I haven't done this in a while, I would ah. Do the about landmark, and then I would click right here and do add to favorites bar. It's this little corner button, like this little button next to edit. You do add to favorites bar, which would add it up here to the favorites bar. Um, gotta see what mom said right quick. The biggest thing that mom wants to know is um, how to get from one place to another, which I covered with the teleporting. There is one other thing about teleporting, which is why I need my lovely husband, guinea pig, who is working on it. And she says she cannot see the green ball at Vernication. So, I'm going to teleport to Vernication. And hope no one gets mad at me for this. Probably gonna make this a private video just from them. 
Um, but fornication. Aww. Fornication with gestures. I am, my dude. Science is a good right. reason to. That's a good reason to stuck walk close to people, stay warm. Mm -hmm. everything. Um, no, I sleep naked, so. But yeah, I'm standing right here at Fernication, fully loaded. No, nope, just a call or oh, myself. fully loaded. And mm -hmm. I'm just gonna stand like. over here on the corner, like right where you teleport in at. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta add some scripts okay, in see? that cock ears. You have the spot. Yeah, that I you gotta get do that. By <laughs> clicking the eye. I love it when people touch my Your tail eye now. should be right here. <laughs> Very cool. If you haven't moved it or it hasn't. <laughs> Let me favor really touch mine and click a root sure. comment or I've something. Had this particular setup touch for forever, yours. so it could be different now. But that, uh, right object. there, all you gotta do is you no, no, nothing. come in, look at the floor, second, I'll fix that. click this, you look up at the sky, and there's nothing the Nothing on the cock either? And you click oh, on oh, that green cock asshole, the tail. and hit yes. Oh no, I did say tail. I just want to make sure my scripts aren't going faster. And if you're not oh, your dancing with someone else, you hit singles. And you click any of these, Thank you, mostly. general, and you hit dance all, which will dance all of them rather than just having to click on oh, all okay, the other dances. Please, so you hit dance all, then it'll pop up and it'll be like, is this okay? <laughs> but, and then you say yes, and then you will dance all over the place and it'll be fine. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna ignore it. You behave yourself, Cracker. But, um, that's <laughs> the dance ball. If you look up and you can't see the dance ball, but you see like this right here, it means that your res distance or your, your view distance is just set really short. So you just walk up closer to it, or you cam over to it, because you can totally just cam far away from your avatar. Yeah, and you well, up. I don't need to tell later. I'm just too lazy right now. And you can click on it. Okay, like, Tracy, we get the point. <laughs> zoom all the way over to it. And here. And. If you lose your camera, like say you res, or you like you. So any plans this weekend? Zoomed. Yeah, so much up searches, hanging with on. my friends, possibly talking to my like, friends oh, about where did my camera about go? About plans for moving on my, my parents. Um, oh, congratulations! Right so, pretty sweet. Click the X button. What's yeah, your but time? Set your camera to default. Well, that's not gonna be. For, that's not gonna be for like another year. No where you go, like you can just yeah, zoom all the way out. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with in your head. Save And then hit your X. You can go back. Um, another thing that you can do to teleport to different places is open this, which is the search bar, <laughs> and, eh, I have stuff. Definitely making this private now. Anyway, no, I'm it's good go living on your own. Just then, make sure it's the people you want. Know. And move out because you I want just, to, I've not because you have to. It's uh, probably smart. Mm -hmm. Type in, like... Sandbox, because that seems like a normal thing to type in, and hit enter, and there are tons of sandboxes because Second Life was like created as a sandbox game. There are tons and tons and pages upon pages, but and of course a horny little ledge dragon. Say I want to go to like Curious Sandbox, which is this one. <laughs> Maybe. Just click on the Curious Sandbox and it'll expand yes. more information about that sandbox. It says Curious Sandbox, Curious Sandbox, then it's got like the location exactly where, where you're gonna res in at, the size of the sim it's on, or the size of the parcel it's on, what maturity rating it is, it's the moderate one, um, which is fine. And it's just a furry. Uh, Rise and make a normal change on the truck. Hopefully, Sunday, new wipers, and I'm good for the summer. Um, um, also, we just changed the days on my Mazda. Uh, like, so uh, Mazda. Uh, oh, you drive? To the curious. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Click the teleport button, pretty easy. And here I am. I'm in the curious sandbox, and as you can see, they have lots of cute little avatars for sale. It's a really nice place. I have a curious tinchilla from here. Um, say I want to go back to Fernication. But instead, I want someone to teleport me to Fernication, since husband's already there. I go to my nearby chat, and here you see the different chats I have open. I'm going to go to friends, and this is a list of all of my online friends. And there's husband face. I click on his name. I'm gonna click I am. 
and pester him. Abby, teleport me. And then he is going to send me a teleport request. It's not going to pop up over here or anywhere else. It's going to pop up in this window. He's taking forever. <laughs> oh, okay. Hubby is the lag. Okay, and the tutorial. Well, yeah, the <laughs> tutorial. The uh, teleport has just popped up. This is what it looks like when someone teleports you. You just click the teleport button. And, the teleport button. and I'm back in Fernication. And there's Hubby, who isn't res yet. Okay, and now I'm going to show you what it's no, like to teleport take somebody care else. To so teleport someone else, and he doesn't really have to respond to it, but to teleport somebody else, you go up here, and in, in each of your contacts, whenever you're talking to someone, like if I was talking to Cal, here is the same thing. The only time it's different is whenever you're in a group chat. This is a group chat. This is a group chat. Social group chat. Okay. But you get the idea. If it's just one person, then it's going to look like this, and you're going to be able to teleport them. Uh, you just go here. That looks like a little genie lamp. And you do. Launch. You can either offer teleport or request teleport. If I click offer teleport, it sends him a teleport offer to teleport him to me. If I request a teleport, it will ask him to teleport me to him. But hopefully you get the general idea. Hopefully I've covered everything okay. It's a bit long-winded, but, you know, lag does that. Um, this is the tutorial for now. This is fornication. The dance ball is still right there in the middle. And, um... I think I've kind of covered everything. As you can see, this little thing right here, I use it a lot. It's um, the arrow keys to move the camera. Remember, it does this and this. And one other thing that it does is if you want it to be smaller, you can make it smaller. If you want it to be bigger, you can make it bigger. I keep mine about this size. But, um,. That is the, that's it for this tiny interview. Hopefully it makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know. And stop recording.